Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. In this episode, we're going to have a shorter episode, but I want to show you how to upload your project or your code to a repository. So the two main repository websites that people will be using whenever you uh, do programming is GitHub and GitLab. I prefer GitLab because it's just better for me. The UI is better. It just looks cleaner. It's awesome, right? But GitLab is very popular also. That's also a really good option. It's just like if you're asking if Maven or Gradle is better. Maven's obviously better. Anyone will tell you about that. So what I have right here is a Spigot project, which is, you know, if you don't know, it's a um, plugin API that I can use to make Minecraft plugins. But this works with any type of coding project that you want to use. It can work with pretty much any file that you want to store in your repository for coding. So don't worry. So let's say I have a project right in IntelliJ or any any location. First, what I need to do is open up the files, you know, in the file explorer for Windows. So I need to go for if I'm using IntelliJ, all I got to do is to click on this right click here. Um, and then go to scroll down a little bit, do show and explore. So that's going to open, open up the file explorer in case you don't know where it is, in case you don't know where the project is actually located. But yeah, so we have a project here. We open this up. So these are the five files that we want to store within our repository, right? So if we want to do that, first we need to open up a, um, a console. So we can do git bash here. And if you don't have git bash, I'll leave the link in the description for you. But it's a really good console option because currently Windows doesn't offer a console, like a Linux type console, bash or whatever. But yeah, anyway, I just prefer this. I would recommend this. So I'll leave the link for you, for you. Okay, so the next step will be to open up GitLab or GitHub, whichever one you want to use. So GitLab.com. And so we log in here. Okay, so I just signed into my GitLab account. I have a bunch of random projects that I should be deleting maybe. At least these old ones. But yeah, I have a bunch of random projects here. As you can see, I have some plugins. I have some JavaFX tutorials. I have a bunch of cool stuff. So these are the type of things that you might want to store in the repository. So if I want to create a new project, like I have here, right? This would be something new because I don't have a repository for it yet. Just click New Project. Really simple. And so now we need to give it a name and uh, all that fun stuff. So let's give it a name. We'll call it uh, Test for YouTube. You can literally call it what you whatever you want, obviously. So it's going to give you a URL. You can give it a description. For whenever people look at it, they can know what it's for, I guess. And then you can set it to private, internal, or public. So if you want this to be um, private, that means that you have to give people permission if they want to edit it and see it and use it and stuff like that and contribute to it and all that fun stuff. So if you want to do that, then you can do that. But I like to keep my projects public because then you guys who watch my videos can go and look at the project and download it if you want to. So that's all I want, really. You could also do this if you want to, but that's really not important. So we can click Create Project. And now it's going to create it for us. But the next part we have to do is kind of complicated, but not really. If it's your first time, it might be confusing. But since we already have a folder, just go to this part, push an existing folder. And then now we just got to do all this. We already have this because we're already in the folder, but we can just do this now. So the first thing it wants us to do is do git init, which is going to initialize our git repository. And by the way, I forgot to tell you, besides git bash, which is the console here, you need to have git installed. So if you want git, just type in git right here. And right here. So it actually might come with git bash, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is how you get git. So make sure you have that installed on your system. If you don't, every developer will pretty much need it. So yeah, do git init, which is going to initialize the repository for us. And then we need to add the repository or connect it to GitLab, basically what is what I'm trying to say. So paste git remote add. We actually know it might have, I might have space in front of it, maybe. I'm not sure if it added it correctly. Okay, yeah, it worked the first time. So yeah, now that we do that, we go to this one here, which is git add period, which is basically just going to add every single file in that folder to the repository. So git add period. So as you can see, it's adding all the, all the stuff for you. So now that you have all the files added, you need to commit it, which is basically going to um, basically create the I guess I would call it an update for Git for the repository. So you can create a commit and then you can push that commit to the repository and you can name the commit so that the people can know what commit, what, what basically was updated in the commit message. It's a little hard to explain. So this is just the basics. So I'm not going to explain it further. So git commit and then dash M. And then after that, you put a message and has to be between quotes here. So we can say initial commit because that's what we're doing. We're creating an a, uh, initial project. This is the first commit. So initial commit, first commit, whatever you want to name it. So click enter. Now it's going to add all that for you. And then finally, if you want to push the files to the repository, by the way, you can see the git file here. If you want to push those files, all you got to do is do git push origin master. That's all you got to do. And now it's going to update, um, upload everything. And now you can see that it says to GitLab, blah, 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 master to master, all that cons um, all that cool stuff. So no, no error messages. So that worked perfectly. So now what we can do is reload here 
and we can see that we have all our files here. Really awesome, right? Really simple. So this is how you add files to the repository. So now what I'm going to show you is how to update the files. So let's say we go into here and we change some code. So if we go into booty command, <laughs> that's really, that's a nice name, right? So if we go into booty command, we can just get rid of this. We don't need this right now. Um, so P, actually, no, I want to save that. I need that for testing purposes. So let's change this to poop, blah, 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 whatever. I'm just changing some code. So now what I can do, this is saving automatically. So I can go back here. And if I want to update it, all I need to do is to git add period to add all the new files. And then now I need to add a commit. So git commit, which is going to represent the update. So commit, and now we can say um, update message, whatever, right? Because that's what I did. So git commit dash m update message. And then finally, so now that I have the update or commit, whatever you want to call it, I can push it to the uh, repository. So git push origin master. And there we go. So now it's all done. So we can go back here to GitLab and reload. And nothing looks different, but we can see that it says last update just now. So this is the first one because it says one minute ago, but th this one says just now. So you might be wondering why some of the files have an update, but some of them still have the original one is because we only changed this file here. So it's only going to update the files that were changed. So we don't need to upload every single file to the repository every single time we update something, right? So it knows exactly what we need to update basically, right? Hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you update a repository. And you can see that it says update message and then initial commit because we have two different updates and then the second update only affected this one like I said okay so anyway that's it if you have any questions about what I showed you that for this episode you know with Git and all that fun stuff you can ask me in the comment section below or you can join our discord server we have about I think maybe 400 people now in our discord server so make sure you join that get some new friends ask questions whatever you want to do leave suggestions um, so yeah make sure you do that and by the way, we have three new members to our YouTube membership program where you can donate a certain amount of money per month and be a donator basically for the channel. We have Daniel Sartor, Cool Mike 35 and Cole Man. So thank you for donating, all of you who joined. And if you'd like to join, then go ahead and click the join button below this video. And then you can join for $0.99, cents, $5, or $10 per month. And you can cancel at any time if you want to. So if you don't want to do that, that's fine. I still love you. But that's pretty much it for this episode. So leave a like if you like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.